good evening staff my name is jay patie and i am presenting a project on fake news detection i am a lone presenter for this thing since i didn't had any partners due to my ongoing internship so as the topic says it is fake news detection using machine learning so nowadays we are watching that a lot of fake news are being circulated in the social media and almost everywhere due to which some incidents like some unfortunate incidents like that delhi violence happens and also some used to claim that in america those elections were hacked by russia so those were all an example of fake news and that is a prime problem because as we are increasing the use of social media nowadays it is our responsibility to make sure that whatever we and our kids get from that social media is genuine and real so i tried to develop a tool or a website you may say which detects fake news by just putting some things in it where we have to put in title the author name and the content of the things so i'll present that to you i have completed almost 70% of the work which is needed and 30% is still there so the abstract says the same thing the main thing that i want here is that these are the keywords that we find for when we you know these are this is an example of keywords that we find for while getting to know whether the news is fake or real then it's the introduction part uh same things are written like us presidential election the most popular fake news was much more frequently circulated on facebook than the most popular authentic mainstream news so the real news gets sidelined and this is the issue that i have tried to solve and that is of benefit to both the customers and the consumers so same things literature survey is explained in here so the main system that how it works is like this we collect the data first we clean the data we extract the relevant features then count vectorizer comes in place wherein we count the frequency of each word that is occurring in the data set then we divide the data set in two parts training data and test data training data we use to train our model test data we use to test our models accuracy and efficiency then this training data we apply model training and ensemble methods so basically ensemble method is a method in which multiple machine learning models are combined together to get an output so uh, i remember there are there were three ensemble techniques one was bagging the other was boosting and the third was there was a third one i don't remember it exactly but i have used boosting in here we can use bagging as well bagging bootstrap plus aggregation is also fine we can use random forest but i have used xgboost since i love gradient boosting and xgboost is an upgraded version of gradient boosting after that the model is trained user query and classification we get the classified result whether it is a yes that it is a fake news or it is not a fake news so system requirements for this thing is simple we can do it on an intel i3 8 gb ram and a hard disk of 100 gb is enough then there is ensemble learning i explained what ensemble learning is you can ask me questions on this if something goes wrong then we have xgboost that we use extreme gradient boosting an upgraded version of gradient boosting uh then there is sgd classifier okay stochastic gradient descent so stochastic gradient descent is one type of gradient descent gradient descent has i guess three or four types one is stochastic gradient descent batch gradient descent online gradient descent general gradient descent so we have used stochastic gradient descent there is not much difference in these gradient descents so if you want me to you know uh, explain what gradient descent exactly means in non technical words it will be like uh suppose you are sitting on a chair right now and there is a dustbin in front of you which is at a distance of around 10 feet and you have a piece of paper in your hand and you are trying to throw that paper in that dustbin but it doesn't go in that dustbin it falls a bit you know in the way it doesn't go till there so i'll try again i'll try again i'll try till the time it falls closest to that dustbin so the error in that case is minimum that is how gradient descent work it tries to minimize the error every time and stochastic gradient descent is one type of gradient descent similar in working just that it finds the local minima then the system requirements these are the hardware requirements that we have used and also the software or also mentioned i'm sorry that i i would have written software here also 
So we have used Python framework is plus and ID. We have used PyCharm sublime text three and database. We have used MySQL. Then proposed system explanation pool. I explained this to you existing. Okay. This is one thing. What is something new that we are doing? So the max operator has at least two disadvantages. Firstly, it is only suitable for the instance level approaches that requires an instance classifier. As we mentioned before, existing popular approaches of logistic regression with to transform them into embedding space. So basically generally nowadays what the existing systems are using is logistic regression. Logistic re regression compared to ensemble is a bit lower model uh, with a lower efficiency, but it has a high interpretability. That is the reason it is used. Ensemble has a lower interpretability. That means we can't understand how exactly ensemble works, but the results are more better than the simple ones. That is the reason we have chosen gradient boosting over logistic regression. Then advantages confirming those infected in essential to manage and contain the fake news successfully. So basically the advantage says that we as a consumer and businesses, companies, everyone is getting benefited from this. We are able to find stop find fake news and we are able to put a full stop on them. So that is a basic advantage of this thing that we are building and the conclusion. So here we stop with social media becoming, I'll just read this with social media becoming more popular, more and more people are receiving news from social media rather than traditional news media, which is a fact nowadays. So social media, however, has also been used to disseminate fake news, which has strong negative effects on the individual users and culture as a whole, and also in the society. Nowadays, we are witnessing a massive surge in that. So in this paper, by reviewing existing literature in two phases, we discuss the false news problem, characterization and detection. In the characterization phase, we introduce the basic concepts and principles of fake news in both traditional media and social media. So this is what I have in mind. And I have implemented 70% of this 30% backend is still pending. So I have not implemented it in practical life, but I would like to hear it from you that how do you think the scope of this project is? So that's all from my end. Anything from the panelists or the host? You mean you have not implemented this? Uh, Ma'am, I have once implemented it in a different system, but since I have to submit it to here using this system, so I completed i started this yesterday and i completed 70 percent implementation if you want a complete implementation i can do it by tomorrow and show it to you so i have tried implementing it i have implemented it basically how many examples you have implemented for fake news and uh, real news uh ma'am what i have did okay percentage of work done how much uh, news you have evaluated whether this is a fake or uh, around is... six articles ma'am I have used six articles and I've got the result of around five to be exact. And the sixth one was a bit tricky. So it was not able to identify it, but there are always errors in a model. It is not always hundred percent, right? So we took that case as an error. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. So we have implemented, I have implemented six cases. I've seen six and five of them were right. Yeah. Okay. Jay, I was saying that. Uh, six mm -hmm. number of uh, news evaluation of six number of uh, news to come on some prediction will be uh, too less. Too Second, less, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which algorithm you have mentioned? Uh, which ML algorithm you are using here? XGBoost, Extreme Gradient Boosting. Okay. So, uh, can you tell me what is your observation uh, in the words, the keywords you have used? to identify mm -hmm. whether it's a fake what is your observation are they are mostly similar or there you have find it some uh, major difference that th these keywords appear only in the fake news and this is these, these are the keywords uh, which are present in the genuine news what is your observation and basically what i have observed is right so nowadays the observation that i did personally was on the email in email gmail that we use nowadays there is a spam folder. So when I go to that spam folder and I open them, all of them, literally, we can just tell by looking at them that they are not right. So that is the similar thing that model did. I didn't see a drastic change in my model. 
it was the same thing that gmail did it was the same thing just that we are using a bit more complex model for a better accuracy uh sometimes also on my phone i get smss like play this and win this much amount so that is how we try to get those words and we get to know that these are fake words so th the answer to your questions ma'am mostly the words are similar there is no change basically i am just relying on my system because i have used a stronger model rather than using a logistic regressions model which gives me an increased efficiency of around 8 to 10% over the traditional models like logistic and linear regression logistic regression and svm okay fine yeah any other questions yeah it is okay all right thank you sir thank you so much i appreciate all of you for your precious time